Hey, it's W5HRO here for a quick uh, update. I, sorry I got kind of behind on this. I got another week delay. Uh, my antenna's up most of the way. I just got to run the coax into the shack here, and uh, but I've got it up high enough where I can use it. The one leg's up all the way up past the top of the tree. The other leg, I need a little bit taller mass that comes down the other end, the inverted L setup, center-fed inverted L. But uh, here's the, uh, I, I'm working on the, I just started back on this again. Here's the, uh, the, uh, the, the regulator, the 200 volt regulator for the, uh, uh, the limiter keep alive supply here. There's the supply itself. See, it's all there mounted. And then there's a solid state relay. I have that mounted on top. And the dropping resistor, this blue wire here, this is what I've got to hook up next. I've left it just hanging here. I got to cut it off. This is going to be the dropping resistor from the supply to the to, to the uh, the base of the the transistors where the uh, the 200 volt zener is. So I've just I've left this long in case I've got to put a little heat sink up here someplace or down in here someplace with the resistor on. I've got a cool a spray cool on resistor. I'm going to hook up real quick and temporarily on this blue line to the uh, to the uh, to the supply. Because I have to have the one, I've got the collectors of those pass transistors are connected to the supply, but the base is floating with this blue wire. It's got the 10 mic cap at the, there at the input, so it's protected, ESD protected and everything. So uh, but that's what i got to do. i got to add the dropping resistor in this blue line, hook up. I'm going to get ready to wire this stuff up here in the next day or so. I'm going to start. I took the back door off of this thing. What actually happened is, the reason I got a week behind is because I got my antenna all most of the way put up, like I said, last uh, uh, last week. Not this last weekend. It's, uh, what's today? Today's Monday. Uh, this It was the weekend before last. I got it done, and then I woke up Monday, and I was... I. I thought maybe I had COVID-19 and I got sick in bed for a couple of days and it was mainly, it was like some kind of diarrhea, stomach stuff. I don't know what it was. I think it might've been something I ate because I found out the XYL has a habit. She doesn't check the dairy product ex expiration dates in the fridge. And <laughs> I, we, we, what happens is we buy like a salad dressing or something, da some dairy product and it just sits there and we forget about it. And then like, you know, six months later, we're like, oh yeah, we need that right now. So we open it up and, you know, sometimes this stuff sits there for a long time. And I think what happened is she gave me salad the other night and it, uh, she gave me blue cheese dressing and the expiration date when I dug into it and looked at it, it was like except from September and here it is, uh, January, 2021. <laughs> so I don't know if that's what did it or what happened, but it took me out and I just did not feel well the rest of the week. The rain came back and my sinuses, so I got kind of behind. I just put it, put it down for a week. Now I'm kind of back to normal, so I'm starting to work on it again. So this week I'm going to wire all this up and get it ready to go so I can, uh, start testing, uh, you know, testing the audio out and all that stuff. But, uh, I still have to add the, the extra dropping resistor here in the bottom part of the RF deck for the screen. And the, uh, I've taken out the exciter rack. I gotta add the extra little couple things I'm gonna do to that. I'm changing the, the cable. I'm gonna wire up that relay like I originally planned so it doesn't click when I, uh, when I, uh, go just to spot the darn thing. I'm tired of hearing the whole thing clicked where I've gotta turn the plate switch off to stop it. It's just, it's irritating. So I'm gonna change that part of it. But, uh, I'm gonna get the, uh, like I said, I'm gonna wire all this up first, get the, uh, all the, uh, the modulation transformer reconnected, get the limiter hooked up, get the supply out, put in through the relay. I've got a, you know, like I said, the, the exciter deck, that RCA jack on the back, it's going to have the 12 volts out on transmit to control this relay here. So I've got to make that connection, rewire a couple things on the bottom of that deck. So that's why it's out of here. And I've taken the back door off, like I've said. So anyway, sorry for the delay, but I'm, I'm going to get back on this thing now and uh, get it finished up and, I'll do another video when I get it all, uh, the RF deck all fired back up with, and then I'll turn the mic up and I'll, we'll see, get some audio. I'll hook up the scope and, uh, sample it and we'll see what the envelope looks like. So that's it for now. This is W5HRNNO.